No, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. It's been 84 years. Let's, um, let's change that. So I thought, um, one of the common videos you see on YouTube is why people like the distro they like. So let's talk about why I love Gen 2 over any other distro. First one for me is probably the choice that it gives me. Um, Gen 2 lets you do anything you like. So, it doesn't matter what I want to do, I know Gen 2 can support it. So if I want a System D system, it's easy to do. If I want to buy a brand new, um... Damn, my phone is so old and messed up. Just buy a new one. Your card was declined. Wow, well, say brand new. If I want to buy a computer from the 90s and get that to run, I can do that. There's no other distro that lets me do the stuff that Gen 2 does. Um, so, as an example, I was given an MK, uh, sorry, an M68K um, Motorola CPU, and there was no muscle support in Gen 2. I was able to add that support in, and then once done and got all the bugs sorted out, I submitted that to be supported officially by Gen 2. Now, if you did that in a different distro, I would have to fork that and manage it myself. But in Gen 2, you just you just get that power to you get that power to upload it and push your changes. And well, you just can't beat that kind of thing, really, can you? It really is a distro for the users rather than for well for the goals of the distro maintainers, you know. And while on the thing of that, the cross compiling. The cross dev, I know some of the devs don't like it, but oh, the power you can get from that just to be able to add the ability to um, cross compile straight from Portage itself is unbelievable. Currently, right now, I am building a Risk 32 build just to see if it's um, just to see if it'll work, and just being able to use Emerge to do that it just makes my life so much easier. So I've seen it done with Fedora and all the steps people have to do with that. But in Gen 2 we don't have that issue. We can just literally run an emerge command and build our systems. And then again once I'm done, I'll be able to upload this and it will be officially supported. Another thing I do love about Gen 2 is the fact that it's for us, the community, you know. No, no, this, this whole thing, all of this. It's all about me. If a discussion happens about a change, we can actually sit there and suggest things. Um, let's go for a small one. Uh, NeoFetch got dropped a while back and the users complained about it being dropped because even though it's an old out of date software that probably no one should be using anymore. People love it. And they re and they change the decision just based on its legendary status, basically. But in bigger steps you can you can discuss things about being dropped to make sure that your hardware always is supported. And you just you don't get that anywhere else. You know, if Debian decides it's dropping um, x86 support, Debian's dropping x86 support. But here, if you want to put some work in and help it, you can keep it going yourself. And that, that's special to me. That's pretty neat! But I think the real, the real big uh, thing for me is, is the community itself. In a lot of uh, distributions, communities, everyone's there to kind of show off how good they are, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm sure you've all seen that one before with some distributions. But in Gen 2, we seem to push people. To, 
to learn to be better. Yeah, we have our moments. Of course we do. But generally, we're trying to help you. So, let me tell you about when I came back to Gen 2 the first time. I needed to install a, um, a version of Gen 2 that ran on a 2.6 kernel. Why? Just why? Obviously, everyone asked me why I was doing it. As soon as I explained the need, everyone was like, right, okay. This is where you need to look. There was no, when well, you're doing a stupid thing, buy a new device. It was, right, here's some hints. Can't do it for you, but we can show you um, where to start. And that's, that's another thing that makes Gen 2 special. Everyone's trying to push you to be better, the better person. Like, no one wants you to stand still. Everyone wants you to be greater than you are today and i i really thrive in that sort of situation so yeah there are all the basic stuff that we've got with um, gen 2 like you know the great package manager that gives you all the control over everything you need and not say and also we've got the wonderful documentation which is open for everyone to edit but really what, what stands out for me is just what we can do if we really want to do it. and i think if you're looking for a distribution for that we need it to do not one that does what they've set out and then you've just got to sort of hack it around to do what you want then there is only one choice and that choice is gen 2 so if that sounds something a bit like you why not give it a try we'd love to see you have a good one keep compiling